Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord calls us to love one another as he loved us. In silence, let us call to mind those times when we have failed to love or to be loved. You made us to be one family, yet we have divided humanity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You were born a Jew to reconcile all people, yet we have brought disharmony amongst races. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You rejoice in our differences, yet we make them a cause of bad feeling. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. holiness your glory is proclaimed in every age as we rejoice in the faith of your saints inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through jesus christ our lord amen hear the gospel of our lord jesus christ according to matthew glory to you o lord when jesus saw the crowds he went up to the mountain and after he sat down his disciples came up to him then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the, are the pure in heart, for they will see God. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When I was a child, I remember my grandfather having a large uh, wardrobe, three-door wardrobe, with two mirror doors on it. And I can remember being able to stand in the middle of it and open the two side doors and create an image of myself that went on and on forever, a little bit like this one. Although this is a poor imitation using a bathroom cabinet. So why have I just shown you that picture? In today's reading, we heard about how uh, if we are persecuted today, it's because people persecuted the prophets in years gone by. And today we're celebrating All Saints Day. Now, saints aren't just the famous people that we call saints today. In the Bible, the saints were all Christians. And that means not just the famous ones, but people like my mum and dad and my grandparents and perhaps your mum and dad and your grandparents. Perhaps not. Not everybody is so fortunate. But what it does mean is that there are people for all of us who have been influential in our Christian journey. I can think of a number of others who were influential in my journey and they've come into my life and they've gone out of my life. And I suspect there will be people like that on your Christian journey. And today is the day in which we celebrate all of those people they might have told us something. They might have shown us how to live as a Christian. They might even have helped us discover that we were thinking something wrong. Whatever it is, whether it's our parents, whether it's other Christians that we've known, or whether it is Christians from hundreds of years ago, who have given us a good example, who have helped us to learn more about what it means to follow Jesus of Nazareth, what it means to live our lives in that kind of way. And that's a good thing to celebrate. Why don't you spend a little bit of time after this service thinking about who the people that have influenced you are. Is it the famous saints you know about? Or has it been the people who nobody might imagine that they've been influential on someone's life? Do they even know? If they're still alive, you might like to tell them at some point. Very few of us get to know about the people whose lives we've influenced. But when somebody does tell us, it's wonderful. Amen. We say together in faith, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. We believe in God the Father who created all things. For by his will they were created and have their being. We believe in God the Son who was slain. For with his blood he purchased us for God 
from every tribe and language, from every people and nation. We believe in God the Holy Spirit. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Dear Father, we bring before you the saints that have gone before us, those that we share our lives with, and those yet to come. Grant to them and to us your eternal blessing. For those that we hear about in the Bible from the Old Testament, they showed great faith, commitment and wisdom to do your will. Grant to them and to us your eternal blessing. For Jesus and those he called upon to continue his work here on earth. Grant to them and to us your eternal blessing. For our church leaders that guide and teach and nurture us. Grant to them and to us your eternal blessing for our church community that support inspire and encourage us grant to them and to us your eternal blessing for those that will come to faith in the future and offer their service to the glory of your kingdom grant to them and to us your eternal blessing through Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen and settle you in the faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.